All right, welcome to game three of the finals. The Decider against Hobby to the Max. And... My opponent isn't here. <laughs> Uh, he's not actually in the uh, in the game, so I don't know if he hasn't joined yet. So I think I'm gonna give it a maybe like a minute, and then I'm probably gonna log off of Magic Online and log back in. Um, I haven't that hasn't actually happened to me in a while. Uh, Magic Online, it's actually pretty hard to tell if you're connected or not, because the the chat server and the game server are are two different things. So like you can you can be having a conversation with someone and not actually be connected to the game server, and you can be timed out of your game and, and lose the match. So, uh, I mean that hasn't happened to me in a long time. Uh, like I've been had to like log out of Magic Online, uh, but looks like he just joined the game, so it was in fact him that was lagging. And uh, this looks like a snap mulligan. Uh, hobby to the max, also mulligan. So, yeah. At least uh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll keep this. I mean, it's pretty unexciting, but I don't think it's better than going to five. So, let's see what he has for us. Uh, he chose to play. Okay. If I don't draw land for the rest of the game, I'll uh, be kind of happy. Alright, so here we snap trade for Ashmouth Hound, if he offers that. Because we have Ghoul Razor. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is just silent departure his Iron Fang and get in with Ghoul Razor and also play Walking Corpse. <laughs> uh, I guess my mulligan was a lot better than his. Alright. I'm fine with flashing back the Silent Departure and getting in for like seven. Eh. Not much I could have done about that. Guess we just attack for four and uh... Yeah, I think we can pass a turn in case we draw like Murder of Crows or something like that. We still have the option to play Silent Departure and flash it back if necessary. But I, I, I don't think we're going to need to do that. Playing a Ghost Quarter, that's interesting. I'm not sure why he'd want to do that. Like, he must be intending on playing that on one of his own uh, creatures. Or, or, sorry, one of his own uh, lands, that is. <laughs> Alright, well, as much as I want to get more value out of my Ghoul Razor, uh, I think I'm just going to play it. So we can uh, 
we can we, this way it prevents his watch keep from flipping and uh we also get to put more pressure on the board he's pretty dead here like he's just so far behind and this silent departure is just gonna stick it to him i'm gonna hide that now No, well, that was probably one of the worst cards I could have drawn. <laughs> so we can, if we use Silent Departure now, uh, we can bounce his watch keep, attack with everything. He can block one of them, goes to four. He replaces his watch keep. And then still takes four. Yeah, I like it. I'm not going to flash it back on his Ironsmith, because he, he's gonna, probably going to need to jump block. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so do we silent departure now or wait till next turn? I really wish this could kill, like, the non-flipped werewolf, but unfortunately, Victim of Night is not that good. Okay. Alright, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. He's starting to draw out of his mana screws, so he's going to have a lot of gas in his hand. And unfortunately, I'm destroying lands. So that's not very good. Hmm. Well... I mean, I really can't let him flip his outcast, so I, I, I'm pretty much forced to, to bounce it. But, fortunately, I can't attack either, so I just kind of have to wait and hope that I draw, like, a non-land. That's non-land. <laughs> Great. Okay, that's something I can kill a victim of night. And that's a werewolf, so he's gonna uh, flip his Iron Fang back. It's not the worst. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, here I think I have to victim of night his Ashmouth Hound just to prevent him from flipping all of his team. Can't have that now, can I? And gotta ship the turn. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, if we attack with everything, he blocks one of a two twos. And he takes four. I'm basically. Yeah. Because I don't want to just like pass the turn and do nothing. But if I attack with everything, like he's he's going to take the free block. Uh, and then it's a, either I get in for four or he trades Tormented Pariah with one of my, with my tutus, which I'm still fine with. And it's not like he can really attack me back because, yeah... I don't know if this is the right line to take, but I, I feel like I'm going to lose if if I don't start making plays. Okay, so I traded two. <laughs> Two two twos for a tormented pariah and, and two damage. That wasn't the greatest, but yeah. Another outcasts. Yeah, this game is not looking great. <laughs> awesome. I can victim of night my own diagraph ghoul. <laughs> Man. So nine lands. That's always great to draw. If he has removal for my ghoul, I'm just dead. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, we're dead. Uh, it's hard to win when you have you draw this many lands. So, uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the draft. Uh, I'm just gonna concede this and not waste any time here. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the draft, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Until then, uh, you know, take care and have a good one.